Hello, Small Biz Hour. Thanks for joining me. This is Darren, the host of Small Biz Hour. This is a one-off podcast by way of introduction to the hour. If you haven't taken part, it's hashtag Small Biz Hour between 9pm and 10pm every Tuesday GMT. It's question-based, so that means we have a topic and five questions. You can find out what those questions are by going to www.smallbizhour.co.uk and you can also see an archive of past discussions. And this is ideal if you're a small business, if you're self-employed, a consultant, virtual assistant, free agent, get involved, learn, share, connect with others. If you want to reach me, you can get in touch by emailing me at darren at smallbizhour.co.uk. I'm a website designer and marketing consultant for hire. With me every week is Steph from Cine Robotic Films. Are you there, Steph? I am indeed. Hello, Darren. Hi, Steph. Thanks for joining me today. That's okay. So do you want to say a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yeah, my name's Stephanie Dale. I am from Cinerobotter Films. We are at Cinerobotter on Twitter. We're video marketing consultants and we do anything from product demos, video testimonials, digital animation. So yes, I'm I'm the weekly co-host with obviously you, Darren, uh, on Small Biz Hour. And if anybody wants to mail me they or see what we do, we are www.cinerobotter, which is C-I-N-E-R-O-B-O-T-A dot com. And my email steph at cinerobotter.com or you can get me at steph at smallbizhour.co.uk you and i have had quite a lot of fun hosting this chat haven't we we have how long we've we been doing it for because i i took uh, over from rebecca oh when was it it was 2000 late 2015 yeah you'd been quite active in the community hadn't you um you'd been yeah. there as a regular yes i was i always joined in i don't think i answered any questions if i'm honest i kind of just joined in and chatted to people well, perhaps we're just uh, just soaking it all up, <laughs> yeah. absorbing. It should be about talking and engaging rather than people just, yes. you know, that's broadcasting. The of, that's the whole point of social media, isn't it? It's got to be social. You can't, you can't just turn up and spam people. So tweet chats seem, or Twitter seems a little bit more democratic. Um, should we explain how tweet chats work for anyone who's never took part in a tweet chat. Yeah, I think that's probably a probably good idea because lots of people that I've met don't actually know what a tweet chat is. Okay, well, let's just say that first of all, um, the tweet chat uses something called the hashtag, which is also called, known as the pound sign. The hashtag, is that modern vernacular? Because I, think, it I o- think yeah, older people tend to call it the pound sign, don't they? I've never heard it called a pound sign. Yeah, I've heard it. I think it's. I've heard it on a few American podcasts. Maybe it's something to oh, do right. with the imperial measurement system. I don't know. I've always known it to be a hash. Oh. But there we go. <laughs> so what what it is is if you if you type a message and then prefix or suffix your tweet with you know hash followed by small bizarre or one phrase no spaces, anybody who is taking part in that chat at that time, if they click Small Bizarre, a list of tweets will appear which use that hashtag. And that's how the tweet chat works. It's basically that we, we all agree to have a discussion based around this particular hashtag for an hour. Um, but it's really important that people remember to put the hashtag in because if you forget, then it's basically invisible. Yeah, so nobody can see it, so they can't join in. But if you if you make sure you put the hashtag in there, then everybody can see the tweet, you know, and everybody else's tweets, and so you can join in any conversation that, you know, that somebody's having within that Twitter hour or that Twitter, you know, hashtag. So why is it a tweet chat? I mean, there's lots of other social media, obviously. I can't imagine we'd be quite as excited to use, you know, Google Plus for no. um, a, an organised uh, social networking session. I mean, tweet chats and Twitter seem pretty popular and uh what are your thoughts on that yeah the reason that um, i like tweet chats and the reason that i use it and do more tweet chats than i do broadcasting on twitter is the fact that i think about it as a networking event it's like going to an actual networking event and meeting other people but this time instead of meeting people in person 
you meet them online, have a chat with them. Nobody wants to be sold to, but yeah. everybody likes having a, a chit chat with everybody else and you get to know people. So if the same people turn up each week, you get to know more about what they do. Um, yeah. Even if, even if you know, they're not broadcasting, telling you what they do, you find out, you look at the profile, you know, you might need something when you're out and about and you think, well, oh, actually, I've spoken to that person on, on Twitter. I speak yeah. to them every week. They're nice people. They're nice yeah. guys. You know? So let, let's use them. Let's... Um, so you, you end up meeting other businesses that you would never normally meet, whether that be due to location or type of business. Yeah. And you end up in a little, I find it, it's like a little community because you're connecting with other people. I completely agree. It's like if you go down the pub with your friends, you wouldn't yeah. like it if someone suddenly popped up and tried to sell you something. <laughs> I mean, I, I know that these Twitter chats, the theme is business, but it doesn't mean yes. that you should start selling. No, no. But I think I think what is nice about tweet chats and especially small biz hour is the fact that people help each other out you know we're sharing yeah. hints and tips we're sharing business advice yeah um and everybody who's a small business especially some of them are just one person one man bands um and so they might not have that team of experts around them yeah. so it's quite nice that you can chat to other people and you know get a bit of free advice yeah you might find somebody you can collaborate with, not just sell to, but actually, well, like you and I, yeah. we're collaborating, aren't we? But like, yes. you, you know, you, you could end up, it could be, uh, you know, five years down the road, you might end up having a partnership, you know, and that yeah. might have started, Twitter might have been the beginning of that. Yeah, it might be that you as a web designer might um, bump into a graphic designer that you get along with and you end up working, you know, alongside each other and yeah. passing business just like you would in a networking event. So that's how I view it. And the other thing is that uh, it's not all about selling something in the next five minutes. It might be that you want to get traffic to your website and you might want to get backlinks. Backlinks yeah. are what make a website rank. If you're talking to somebody week in, week out and selflessly sharing tips and helping people, then you yeah. might find that you start to get backlinks to your website without having to yeah. solicit those backlinks. So building relationships is is how you build a business, at least it is today. You know, People arrive on Twitter, they've been told that they need to get on Twitter to build their business. They poke around for five minutes to see that everyone's spamming and they think, oh, right, so that's why you do it. Oh, well, I, I'll do that then. I'll schedule some tweets and that's it. Yeah. It's like the blind leading the blind. Yes, I would say so. It's uh, it's almost like going to, again, I'll use the networking event scenario. It's almost like going to a networking event, taking along some flyers, shoving them in people's hands, not saying anything to them, and then just walking off and expecting somebody to come and buy your product. Yeah. It'd be like, hang on a minute, you're not going to talk to me. I don't know who you are. So it's all it's about social media. It's about socializing. Talk to people. Get, get to know that um, no like, and trust mentality. Yeah. And then you'll find that people will retweet your, they'll retweet your tweets because they know you. I'm more likely to retweet somebody um, if they, if I know them, if I've spoken to them, if they've put a little advert out, you know, if you put on I do websites um, and whatever else you do, I'm more likely to retweet it because I've spoken to you on Twitter. I'm not going to do it if I don't know you. Why would I? So how how do you use Twitter and tweet chats? Do you use uh, TweetDeck or do you use the native Twitter website or do you use one of those other apps? I use a combination of uh, TweetDeck and the actual browser and also the apps. So it depends where I am, depends what I'm doing. And so if it's something like I do local um, Staffordshire hour and Midlands hour, uh, which are on Wednesday evenings, and there's no way that I could do those on my phone because there's just too many people talking, so I can't control everything. I can't see who's messaged me, what I've got to tweet. Um, that's much easier to control on TweetDeck because you can see everything. Whereas I do um, smart networking, which is half seven each night, and on that one, because it's not as hectic, it's really good though, for anybody yeah. listening, um, <laughs> I, can do, I can normally do that on my phone or on my iPad um, because there's not as many people and there's not as many people spamming, so you lose track of who's messaged. Yeah. Now I use, I'm the same as you, I use all three different situations, different tweet chats. I mean, it's different if you're hosting a tweet chat as opposed to just, um, you know, just taking part. If you're hosting it, you're kind of like the producer. Yes. If you're If you're taking part, you're like the consumer. And you, you can't really you can't really create things the same way on a mobile phone as you can on a desktop PC because... No. 
Um, so I find that as the host, it's useful for me to use TweetDeck because I've got a column set up just for Small Biz Hour, the, the hashtag followed by Small Biz Hour. Then I've got a column for notifications to the at Small Biz Hour Twitter handle. Then I've got a column for you so I can see what you're saying because you're the co-host. So it's yeah. useful for me to see what you're saying. And that's the way I've got it. But there are times when I'll pick up my mobile phone and use that. Usually if I want to record a video, you can oh, right. record those 30-second videos with uh, Twitter for iPhone only, I think it is. You can't do that with a desktop. Yeah. Th there's something, by the way, I don't know if you've heard of this. It's called tchat.io. That's the letter T, C H A T dot I O. And that's oh. like uh, an, you have to sign into Twitter in order to use it. It's a, it's a little bit like TweetDeck, but it's just for tweet chats. Um, oh, okay. So, no, I heard that one. Yeah, I, I think it automatically appends the, the hashtag to your tweet so you don't actually have to type in small biz hour. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, so people could try that out. Um, so let's talk about how Small Biz Hour works specifically because we we have set questions at set times. Yeah. So we get together at 9pm. Um, we have a 10-minute period where people arrive and we chat and it's just to give people time to settle in. And we have the first question at 9.10 and the second question at 9.20, the third question at 9.30, the fourth question at 9.40, and the fifth question at 9.50. So you pretty much know what's going to happen. So there's some expectations there. The question topics are often set in advance, and they can be found at smallbizhour.co.uk. Storyfy, let's talk about Storyfy. Okay. Each chat is archived into a storified timeline. I don't see many people doing this, and I think that they ought to because you, it's for posterity, really. So once you've had a tweet chat between 9 and 10, it's nice to archive that and let people revisit older chats. It's a free tool. It's compatible with most social networks, including Facebook and Google+. Plus. You create an account, and what you can do is you can... This is what I do anyway. You can do a search for a hashtag like Small Biz Hour and you can drag and drop particular tweets from the feed onto a timeline and you can give that timeline a name. So whatever the topic of the chat was, for example, cash flow, and you drag the tweets and you can basically reconstruct the conversations that were going on on the night of the tweet chat and when you quote people in Storyfy, they get automatically notified in Twitter and then they can tweet it out. I think it's quite a good idea actually to um, archive and read again the tweet chats because at the time when you're doing it, you miss everything or you miss so much so much stuff because obviously it's quite busy and it's, it's nice afterwards to go back and see a concise version with all of the hints and tips in rather than having to drag your way through the whole you know, whole hour of chit chat and answers yeah. here and there and not knowing what the answer was to and all kinds. So I actually think that Storyfy is a really, really good um, app that quite a lot of people should use. I hope it doesn't go away though, because a lot of free apps, are, the, the old adage is you get what you pay for and it, it is free. So go to smallbizarre.co.uk and scroll down. You can, you can see all the chats. Yeah. I think we've almost made a little small biz archive of hints and tips for any small businesses out there that want to come along and, you know, if they've got a problem or a question. If we haven't, you know, if we've covered it already, there's a whole little archive there for them yeah. to look at. And, and also, if, if you are going to, let's say, for example, that the people listening to this, the participants of Small Biz Hour, they may be inspired to start their own tweet chat, you know, re related to their industry or whatever. And I'd suggest that they do the same thing with Storyfy because it it proves what you've been doing. 
Um, it's kind of like um, a CV almost. It shows what you've done in the past. It's proof. One more thing I'd like to mention. We've got some Google Calendar reminders for Small Biz Hour. If you've got a Google account, then you've already got the calendar service built into your account. And I set up some Google Calendar reminders, which means you can get mobile push notifications or you can get the emails to your Gmail Again, it's smallbizarre.co.uk, but you're sick of hearing that URL. Um, you can go along and you can scroll down to find a section about Google Calendar Reminders and you can subscribe. So every Tuesday, you'll get a mobile push notification saying that the hour is starting in X amount of hours or minutes and the topic is, and it will tell you what the topic is. So that's useful. That is useful because most people at night that I've spoken to um, they say, or I go to, I go along and, and tell people about it and they go, oh, you'll have to remind me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so then you remind them and they're, then they're eating dinner and <laughs> and they're like, oh, I'm just doing this. I'm just putting the kids to bed. And then you feel bad for having to poke them again and go, <laughs> oh, we're on again. Um, so yeah, it's actually quite a good idea for people to put it. I love Google Calendar. I think it's fantastic. But again, if that goes away, oh, <laughs> you've, you've got to be careful with all these free services. You've got to be... Uh, a I bit know. careful. Never had it so good, had we? <laughs> I hope Twitter never goes away, actually, because oh, I forgot to say, um, I was I was reading something on, I think it was Social Media Examiner. Um, there was there was news about the way that the Twitter timeline might be changing. I don't know oh, if it's yes. just a rumor. But what was that about again? Can uh, you remember? Were, it was a... yeah, they were going to change the algorithm, so they were it was um, so that people could see or so Twitter thought that they would show what people wanted to see rather than what was actually in a timeline, which is the whole point of Twitter, because it's nice to see things in real time. Um, and so it would be more like Facebook, which, and that's the thing that drives me mad about Facebook, know, and apparently which drove a lot of people away from Facebook because it only showed um, people what they thought they wanted to see, not what was actually going on. And so there was a really big uproar about it on Twitter because that's the whole point of Twitter. And yeah. tweet chats would be ruined if it wasn't it in real it'd time be, it'd be wrecked yeah it's because twitter want to make money isn't it i mean they've, they've got business aspirations which kind of live in the shadow of facebook's mega success i imagine twitter looking at facebook and thinking the grass is greener yeah but but as i say facebook lost a lot of users to twitter because of that which is you know and some people prefer the fact that it's real time and they can scroll through and see everything rather than got to go into the feeds and then select the feeds that are coming out now and rather than just being what Facebook thinks you should be seeing. I agree. I do like Twitter for that reason. But as yes. I said, the spam gets on my nerves. So <laughs> can't do anything I know. about that, can I, like, I, I, I do like the fact that you, you, well, I don't like the fact that you get wound up by it, but I just sit there and I go, right, okay, let's see if I can engage this person. Well, that's, and, that's good. That's nice of you to do that because... Once I've or I, I try. So if I've come across them before, I will try them once more if they've not responded, and then I'll just ignore them. But at first, because not every the thing is, most people when they come to Twitter don't know what they've got to do. That's right. Which, is, which yeah. is another reason why they should come to a tweet chat as well, because it's quite good to pick up some hints and tips about how to use Twitter. People come to Twitter not knowing how to participate, and they end up spamming as a kind of default behaviour, don't they? Yes, exactly. And so because not everybody knows, um, you know, about the fact they can join in, people will schedule tweets but not actually come to the Twitter hour. So I message them back with one of the questions and quite often people will reply and go, oh, okay, I didn't realise that you could actually join into this. I just thought it was somewhere where I posted my advert yeah. and, you know, people might retweet it. That's good because be you, you can take somebody who was previously perhaps ambivalent about the Twitter experience and you can yes. turn them into a raving fan perhaps. You've converted exactly. them. But but there are situations when it's obvious that they don't really want to take part and yes. they're just it's like almost like guerrilla warfare, you know, they're just behind <laughs> yeah. enemy lines, hit and run, um, yeah. see you later, we'll, you know. Yeah, we will force through a we will force through a tweet every five minutes whether you like it or not, and we won't reply to any messages. Well, have, we, have yeah. you got any yeah. tips? Because the spam can be so overwhelming that that can actually put people off wanting yeah. to take part. And you know, as much as I hate to say it, I do sometimes mute people and I do I block say, them yeah. because I'm trying I'm, I'm trying to have a conversation and I feel like I've got a fly buzzing in my ear. 
Yeah, I mean, as I said, I try a couple of times to engage them, and if they don't, then I just ignore them after that because there's no point. Um, but I don't, I don't go to mute them in case one time they do actually reply, or they they might not check their Twitter for a month, but they may have scheduled their tweets in. So at some point they might come along and go, "Oh, really sorry." So I won't mute them, but I just ignore and I don't engage with them again. You can mute them for the duration of the chat, and then you can remove them from oh, that yes. blacklist later on. So at least during the chat yes. they're not they're not filling up the feed with rubbish exactly because sometimes you can actually miss points really good points in the conversation because when all the spam comes in it pushes the proper tweets proper tweets but it pushes the actual conversation yeah. um tweets off the page and then you've missed them so you have to go scrolling which means then you've missed the top ones and then you know everything's stopped but the thing hectic, is isn't it, if so. someone's spamming and it's that bad if like a deluge of spam if if they get muted then that's their punishment for t for spamming in the first place <laughs> and what they should understand is that they're not getting any for, for one they're not going to sell anything guarantee that they're not going to get any clicks okay. to the website unless they get lucky but what they should realize is is that if they're spamming to that extent then they deserve to get muted and that they're actually making life difficult <laughs> they're putting more distance between themselves and the people that would like to see those tweets because they're been muted and blocked so yes. that's a very good point actually that people perhaps don't think about and they're not the consequences of... you know it's yes the consequences of if, if like i say if, if i if i go to my nearest networking group now burst through the door and go here i am yes. I, I, i'm selling websites have a business card have a business card people are like people yeah. wouldn't care they'd just think what if i stood on the table jumping up and down saying buy one get one free trying to you know it's yeah. just attention seeking people would um, okay they're forced to acknowledge that i'm there but they'll just go back to the conversations that we're having it might actually leave quite a bad taste in their mouth and be like oh such and such came in and you know did this then you know we don't really want to deal with them and then you get you get people saying well I've, have you heard about such and such no we don't deal with them so it's all about you know word of mouth recommendation you're not going to get that by spamming and no coming in and without engaging yeah that's right, Steph. Anyway, let's wrap it up because uh, we've been going on and on, haven't we? But we thought yes. it was important to record this to let people know where we stand and what we're about, how to take part, why to take part, and that hopefully they should get some value out of it. Yeah, I was going to say, if anybody has any topics that they would like to bring up or if they would like us to cover, then they can always email you or they can add... Didn't you set up a small biz our topics hashtag as well good point before we close let's just mention that yeah if you've got any suggestions for topics just tweet it out and use the hashtag small biz our topics or one word no spaces that means in the future when i'm scratching my head for ideas i can go into twitter plug in small biz our topics and see what the chatter is and uh, get some good ideas and that's been the case on several occasions i've been able to take people's ideas and turn it into a topic and we've had a, a good chat right so let's play some contributors recordings um a couple of months ago we asked some of our regulars to get in touch and say what they like about tweet chats and here they are i'll say thanks to steph and thanks for listening Yes, thank you for joining in. And here are the contributor audio recordings. Hi, I'm Anne Heaton, creating you a great WordPress website to join your great business. Also includes a little bit of WordPress training. You'll find me on Twitter, at Anne Heaton. Why do I like Twitter chats? You get the opportunity to chat and meet some great people, learn from their experiences and expertise, swap stories and have some fun. You can find me at anheden.com. Anheden is spelt H-E-A-D-E-N. Join a Twitter chat. You know you want to. Hi there, my name's Kyle Longshaw. I'm the founder and CEO of Blueprint Robotics. We design and manufacture desktop robots for you to use. They can either be a fun and innovative way to learn programming or other STEM subjects, or simply a robot to use your next project or to have fun with. Uh, and we do quite like business hours simply because of the amount of contacts there is. Uh, along with these contacts, you have a lot of experience and knowledge. And on top of this, the Biz Hour provides set themes, which makes it very easy to start talking to these other contacts about things like bookkeeping or financial information. It's very good to have an understanding or someone to talk to about these kind of subjects. 
Hi, my name is Pauline Midwinter. My Twitter handle is Midwinter Tutor. I am an elocution and accent reduction tutor. What I like about web tweet chats is that I can do it in front of my open fire, on my sofa, in my slippers, and can exchange expertise with people all around the world. My website is midwintertuition.co.uk. Thanks for listening. Hi, I'm Nicola from The Social Stylist. I work with wedding businesses and creative entrepreneurs to make marketing less overwhelming, simpler and a whole lot more fun with a massive focus on creating awesome customer experiences. I like getting involved in Small Biz Hour because I learn new things, I get to share my knowledge and I get to jam with like-minded people. If you want to hang out with me, you'll find me at www.thesocialstylist.co.uk and my Twitter handle is socialstylistco. Hi, I'm Becky C. I was the host of Small Biz Hour in 2015. I thought it was fantastic that we had a different topic each week that small business owners could discuss. I met some really great people, some interesting people, and I just enjoyed learning new stuff. There was so much to bookmark and look at over the course of the, the week that followed, and I just thought it was great. If anybody would like to connect with me, I'm at Becky C123, and that's C spelt with an S double E. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm Richard from Richard Thomas Copywriting. My Twitter handle is at RT Copywriting. I write copy for all types of businesses, organizations and charities for all marketing purposes. I love Twitter chats as they provide an opportunity for networking, sharing ideas and helping promote each other's products or services. You can find me online at www.richardthomascopywriting.co.uk. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. My name is Robert Lang. I'm a copywriter and my Twitter ID is at SmarterWriting. I mostly market my business online and conversations on Twitter are great for sharing my stuff, learning new things and building a valuable network. It's always good to join a discussion on specific topics. I had a great chat on Small Biz Hour, ironically enough, about this very thing, using sound recordings as part of my marketing output. I have a largely business-to-business -business orientated website at smarterwords.co.uk and another showcasing poetry for children and workshops for schools at rainbowpoetry.co.uk. Hello Small Biz Hour, I'm Sarah Banks, owner of Banks' Business Solutions, here to support your business with general administration and email management, freeing up your time so you can focus on growing your business. I love the Small Biz Hour chats as they're a way that I can help share my expertise with you to make you more efficient. Hello, I'm Tracy from Transcend You and I work with and support business owners to create the businesses they want for themselves. Now, I'm on Twitter at Transcend You and what I like and enjoy about tweet chats is you always learn something new, there's great support and you have fun. It's so important when you work for yourself and by yourself. My website is www.transcendyou.co.uk. That's me, Tracy, signing off. Go on, make it a great day. Hello, my name is Thomas Parry. At PlannedMR is uh, how I'm known on Twitter. And I am a market researcher, so I provide information to help people uh, improve their business. What I like about Small Biz Hour is, first of all, it's fun. But also, it's a slightly different type of networking. It's much more informal, much more from your, your own home. And it's, it's quite relaxing. I do other formal networking as well. But uh, I really enjoy finding out a little about people. And the questions also tell you a bit about how they think and how they operate. My um, website is www.plannedmarketresearch.co.uk. Hi, I'm Simon. I run Scartoons and I contribute to the Twitter hour, hashtag Small Biz Hour, because it's great fun and I get to talk to lots of other people running small businesses. We swap ideas, we help each other out, we uh, are full of big advice for everybody else. Uh, I'm the guy who draws all the cartoons on there, so if you like them, please do give them a favourite or a retweet and uh, watch out for the modern small biz app. This is Darren, a.k.a. Small Biz Geek. I'm on Twitter under at Small Biz Geek UK. 
I'm a website design, marketing and technology consultant helping small businesses. What do I like about Tweet Chats? I enjoy the education, social interaction and beneficial business relationships. I think it's important to know, like and trust people. My website is at www.smallbizgeek.co.uk. Thanks for listening.